there, dear viewer, you know, every single week I sit down with different couples to find out what issues they need decoded in their relationship or their marriage. But today, I'm doing something different. I have a special <laughs> guest with me so that we can decode. Do you really know your partner? Welcome to Decoded. Now, as I've told you, today's special guest is none other than my beautiful and amazing <laughs> wife, Akelo Oliech, Mrs. Masinde. How are you doing? Hey, hi, everybody. Hey, it's good to have you here. I'm so honored to be here. I'm a big fan of the show. Mm -hmm. Amazing stuff you guys do here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, honey, for all that you do in my life. And it's good to have you on this show so that we can decode a few things together. Glad to be here. Yes. So now, today's show, we are going to help you decode your partner by asking 13 crucial questions. So this episode, you're supposed to pull your partner, sit down with your partner. If your partner is far away from, from you, tell him or her, please watch this thing and mm -hmm. ask each other these 13 crucial questions. Take your notebook and get ready. Why are we doing this? Because it is important for you to know your partner so that you two do not be strangers living together or working together for life. So Absolutely. the first question, darling, yes. what is your dream? My dream, my dream is to, has always been to impact lives, to touch lives, and hopefully at some point on like a big counseling center. Wow, wow. Yeah. Uh, interesting. That is my dream. <laughs> <laughs> lovely dream, lovely dream. Thank you. My personal dream is also I want to uh, touch lives, I want to have a community center, uh, almost just yes. like you. I want to healing center. Uh, healing center. <laughs> I heal, exactly. That's the word yeah. I was actually looking for. And having a platform where lives are touched. So, dear viewer, do you know your partner's dream? Ask you, your partner, what is your dream? What's the second question, honey? The second question is, what do you want me to do when you are angry? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> When I am angry, mm -hmm. which sometimes I can get when I'm angry, I love how really? it is that you do. <laughs> really, right? <laughs> you know what? You just um, say something sweet to me, appreciate me, okay. love me up, touch me on my back the All way right. you do it. So just <laughs> melt and cool down the temperature. Okay. What about you? What do you want me to do when you get angry? Myself? Um, I like space. So I prefer that you just leave me alone to cool down. Yes. And then when I've just cooled down, then I can come back to you and maybe then I'll be receptive okay. to what you have to say. Okay, okay. So leave me alone. Uh -huh. I leave you alone for <laughs> some time. Let's give you time to cool down. That's it. Yes. So, dear viewer, find out from your partner what they want you to do when they are angry. This is a good way of handling conflict resolution because mm -hmm. anger is a natural, normal human reaction. So what does your partner want you to do? when they are angry now mm -hmm. the third question that we would like you to ask your partner that i'm going to ask my spouse <laughs> what is your love language my love language yes. is acts of service yes i love it when people do things for me for me i feel um no if you if if you're telling me things and i can't see them in action I, I don't translate that as love. Yes. So for me, when you do something for me, I, I just love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I always get confused whenever that question is, when you ask me that question, because I kind of have two. I don't know whether it's possible to have two, but we'll explain that. So mine is acts of service and quality time. Mm -hmm. So ask your partner, what is your dominant love language? There are five. Acts of service, receiving gifts, physical touch, quality time. Mm -hmm. And what else, honey? Acts of service. Acts of service, okay. actually. But yeah, yeah, acts of service. So, so there are five of them. So ask your partner, which one is your love language? It is important for you to know. It is important for you to know. Uh, fourth question, honey. Fourth question. Do you prefer... Oops. Yeah, phone. Uh, do you, do you prefer yeah, phone text calls or, or calls. <laughs> do you prefer phone calls or text messages? Eh? Yeah. Wow, I prefer phone calls. Eh? I prefer phone calls with you uh, because I kind of feel like, you know, uh, just hearing your, your, your voice and hearing from you and mm -hmm. getting that immediate response. For me personally, I prefer phone calls. How about you? Yeah, I prefer phone calls when it's just you. Mm -hmm. Every other person, I can do text. Yes. Quick text. We ain't got to make this <laughs> too long. <laughs> yes, yes. But for you, definitely call me. Okay, yeah. okay. And the reason why this is important, mm -hmm. sometimes you could be texting your partner. Mm -hmm. You know, five messages, pop, 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 pop. And you're wondering, how come your partner is not responding to your message? Why are they taking long to respond to your message? Or you're busting up your partner's phone with phone calls, yet yeah. they are a text person. 
So find out, is your partner a text person or a phone call person? Some people, they rarely text. Mm -hmm. Others, they prefer phone calls. Some find text messages to be quite special. They like to just go through their text messages and go like, oh, I remember the days we used to do this and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So find out, mm -hmm. lest you become mad and angry with your partner for no reason. So what does your partner prefer? Phone calls or text messages oh my goodness this next question this is this is a hot one this is a hot one and i'm gonna i'm gonna ask this right? i'm gonna ask you darling and then we can ask the viewers <laughs> to ask you okay. uh, their partner do you find it easy to talk to me you yes <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. you are the easiest person to talk to you're very conversational so yes i do find it easy yes yeah nah. Wow, wow, it feels good hearing that from <laughs> And thank you so much. You're for a that. man of many words. Yes, yes. <laughs> but yeah, we mm -hmm. get there in the end. We get there in the end. I talk a lot. Um, yeah, you're definitely <laughs> the editor in this marriage. Uh, so I also find it easy to talk to you. Reason why? Oh, because thank you, you. you are calm. You know, you, 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 you find it easy to have conversations even that are difficult. So I appreciate yeah. that. I appreciate that. So, dear viewer, ask your partner. Do you find it easy to talk to me? And let your partner answer that question because sometimes you could be putting roadblocks between you and your partner. That's the reason why your partner is struggling to tell you things. That's why your partner is struggling to tell you the truth that are tough to swallow. So they are lying to you, not because they wish to, but because you're just difficult to talk to. So ask mm -hmm. each other this question. Honey, sweetheart, bae, boob, however you call each other. <laughs> Do you find it easy to talk to me? If your partner struggles to answer that question or says no, find out why. Do not be mad. Usikasirike, these are honest, crucial questions to ask each other. Absolutely. Yes, very, very important. Now, the next question, darling. You want to you wanna ask that one? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you feel loved? Whoa. Do I <laughs> this feel This is a good loved? one. This is a good one. Because you can't be with somebody yes. assuming, yes. you know, they feel loved. Yes. But they're, they're not feeling the love. They're not feeling the love. Yeah, it's they're all about perception. It's all about perception. Mm -hmm. Wow, so do I feel loved? This, I'm not even hesitating to answer <laughs> it. I'm just gladly going to answer it. Um, listening. Yeah, you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> I, I definitely feel loved. Mm. And uh, especially recently, uh, me having been, been sick for some time, thank you so much for just uh, showing and demonstrating that consistent mm -hmm. love to me. So I oh. do feel loved. I do feel loved. So thank you so much, honey, for that. Awesome. Um, and just asking the same question right back at you. <laughs> do you, Akel Oliet, mm. feel loved? <laughs> <laughs> I do feel loved. Mm -hmm. you're, you're an amazing husband, I have to say. No complaints whatsoever. Yes. You're big on showing love, the little things that you do, making breakfast early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Leaving me notes around the house uh -huh, to find. Uh -huh, so uh -huh. that was, that's special. Yes. Thank you for loving me. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to love you. Thank you so much. Yes, and as my wife has actually asked them, mm -hmm. do you feel loved? Ask your partner this question. Why is this uh, question important? Because love is a perception. Does your partner perceive your love? Because sometimes you could be doing things, you buy your partner a golden chain, yet they're like, nah, that does not communicate love to me. No. That does not make me feel loved. So ask your partner, do you feel loved? Do you feel like I really, really love you? Also, do you say it enough? Do you say it yeah. enough? Do you say it enough? Some people feel like you don't, <laughs> they don't need to tell you to I tell love you. you. You know, yeah. like, you know uh, so there's some people who say, I, 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 will, I will tell you I love you once, and in case I change my on mind, February I will let you know. Or, <laughs> <laughs> or on February Just once 14th, a year. <laughs> once a year. Mm -hmm. Or when something bad happens to you, that's yeah. the only time you see the best version of themselves. Yeah, that, that should not be. That should not be the case. Be. That should not be the mm. case. So ask your partner do you feel loved and you know what 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 can i do to make you feel more loved mm -hmm. what are these special things that you want me to do and remember love is both in words and in deeds don't just uh, say love do acts of love do things that communicate love That's right. you know what if your partner loves to do a certain thing you know join them sometimes in that mm. particular activity mm. so that they can actually say okay you actually do care this, this one i don't think they're ready for this honey I, I, I don't think, think they I don't are. Think I, I don't think they're ready for this. <laughs> I don't think they're ready for this. Eh? 
Um, so this is a very important question to ask, especially for those who are in a, in, in a marriage setting, in a marriage setting. So we'll try to uh, put it in a manner that is easily palatable. <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> are you ready, honey? Yes. Yes. So the question is, drum roll, please. Ask your partner, how do you want us to celebrate intimacy? Now, for those who are in our marriage setup, you understand whatever it is that we mean. So how do you want us to celebrate intimacy? Ask your partner that. So, of course, darling, you're not going to answer that on TV. Eh? Oh, no. Uh, I know you know. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Why do you feel like this question is important? I think it's important for a partner to know what the other likes mm. and does not like. Yes. And also it stops boredom yes. in the bedroom department or yes. just in the relationship. Mm. It spices up the marriage, mm. you know. Exactly. Oh, I, I see. So, you know, I, I, I know, I know. <laughs> now, as, as my wife has actually said, you know, this is a very important question. Mm. You know, many times in counseling sessions, you ask the husband, do you know... Uh, how your wife prefers it and then the husband has got no idea and then the wife also has got no idea so imagine being with a partner who's not taking time to know how it is that you want the, the union to be celebrated when you two uh, are celebrating intimacy so ask your partner ask your spouse this question you know what so that you can be able to package your loving so to speak yes. you know to the mm -hmm. preference and the and the desire of your spouse absolutely yeah, because this it's your marriage it's your yes. marriage it's your marriage and you mm. two belong to each other you two are one you two are there to enjoy each other and you're expecting nobody else to do it for your spouse apart from you yeah so you better bring it on better bring it bring your best <laughs> bring your a game you know both mm -hmm. of you bring your bring your bring your best um your your, your best celebration uh, to your uh, marriage institution. That's oh my right. goodness. I have a lot to say about this topic, but you know, <laughs> I'm trying to restrain myself, you know. Uh, really? uh, <laughs> but yes, this is a very important question to ask. So remember, we're talking about the 13 crucial questions to ask your partner. Why are we doing this? It's so that you two cannot be strangers, so that uh -huh. you two can work together with understanding. Because remember, love is you desiring to know your partner better so ask your partner this question so that you can decode your partner and ask each other mm -hmm. you know what we've tackled seven questions and after the break we shall tackle the remaining six questions decode your partner this is decoded mm -hmm.